Rising crime rates in New York on America's largest subway system with millions riding every day. A new approach by their governor aims to bring crime down in the Big Apple. The Democratic governor announcing hundreds of National Guardsmen and women, as we just mentioned, will begin patrolling subway platforms and checking riders' bags. CBS's Elaine Quijano spoke with subway riders about the new security. New York Governor Kathy Hochul's plan is aimed at improving subway rider safety, adding 1,000 more personnel, including 750 National Guard troops, to help with patrols and random bag searches. Anyone looking to do harm or spread fear on our subways, you will be caught. The move comes after a more than 46 percent spike in major crimes in the city's transit system in January, compared to 2023. Across the country, CBS News polling shows crime is a top concern for voters. But data shows crime is down in big cities, including New York, Chicago, and Los Angeles. In the daytime, I feel safe. Nighttime, I don't know, man. Because I'd be saying, where's the cops? You don't see them that much. Already this year, there have been several high-profile crimes in New York's subway system, including three killings and a brutal attack on a conductor. But you have to feel safe in the system because I know how it plays on your psyche when you hear about some random acts of violence. Danny Perlstein is with the transit advocacy group Riders Alliance. With stationing troops there, that's going to create a heightened climate of fear of the subway. It's not getting at the root causes of the problems. The governor's plan does include $20 million for mental health outreach. In the morning, you see nothing but the homeless on the trains. I don't feel safe. Sometimes I just take the bus. More than 3 million people ride the New York City transit system every day, but that is down from a peak of more than 5 million people per day before the pandemic. Elaine Quijano, CBS News, New York.